We begin tonight with that slashing inside the busy Times Square station during tonight's evening rush. The suspect who attacked him is still on the loose. CBS 2's Jessica Layton is in Times Square with the latest. A few hours into this investigation, police still aren't saying what they believe led to the attack. But we have just learned the 35-year-old victim is not being cooperative with the cops. Another slashing at a time the city is trying to welcome people back. The city's latest subway slashing happened mere steps from live music inside the Times Square station. Performers David Hincapi and Doi Shi were both caught off guard while trying to send commuters home on a happy note. I honestly just noticed um, that they were closing off the area and there was a lot of officers there. Out of the corner of his eye, Hincapi could see officers putting up crime scene tape and swarming the hallway leading to the NQRW platform, while other first responders tended to the victim who was slashed in the head. It's really sad. The victim was bloodied all over his body with a big bandage around his head and face. Subway riders passing the scene say it makes them nervous, but sadly, they are no longer surprised. It's terrible. I mean, it's, it's, it's terrible. I think it's probably getting worse after having gotten better. So, I mean, people are desperate. I think it's a little freaky. I just think that crime during the pandemic has gone upwards. Transit crime has been steadily spiking just as the city reopens and welcomes back tourists. But believing in New York, this duo plans to keep entertaining passengers, even though they know it worries their friends and family. I mean, I tell them that I'm going to be okay, and I really hope I'm going to be okay, but I don't, you know, I don't know what's going to happen next. Police have yet to release any kind of description of that suspect. We do know, though, that he is still on the run at this hour. The victim was taken to Bellevue. Reporting from Times Square, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.